Hey, I wanted to review the Hoka One Stinson Tarmac shoes. These are my favorite shoes I've run in. Uh, they're very padded, very comfortable. Uh, they, This pair of shoes here has about 50 miles on them. So um, my only complaint is the finish or whatever this is. Um, began flaking off almost immediately. But you can see the tread uh, has really not shown any sign of wear after about 50 miles of use. Uh, one um, important note is that I didn't get these until I had been running for several thousand miles and um, until I had until I have felt comfortable with my running form that it's uh, that I'm using good technique and that uh, shoes with a lot of padding like these aren't going to hide poor technique. Uh, and with that said though, these provide a, a lot of padding uh, on hard road surfaces. This shoe is specifically designed for running on the road. Uh, Hoka also makes trail shoes that have uh, a more rigorous uh, more sturdy traction so this uh, wouldn't be the type of shoe that you would use on the trail this is a great road shoe it's been my favorite shoe that I've I've had uh, you can see that it comes with uh, quick release laces great for triathletes I saw a number of triathletes using this at the Ironman Coeur d'Alene uh, Hoka's specifically uh, the upper body structure is really solid and really firm it holds your foot nicely fits true to your foot size the shoe box width is nice you know, I don't my feet don't necessarily feel too uh, smashed they feel like they have enough space and I like how thin this tongue is. It's kind of a preference thing. Most other running shoes I've run in have a more a, a thicker tongue that tends to slide around when I run. This really holds in place nicely. So that's another um, feature that I really enjoyed. Oh, one other thing that kind of um, is unique is with these straps. This or these shoelaces, the strap can come loose and bang around and kind of do this. Uh, so I found that it will come out of this little uh, this st um, storage position. So that would be maybe my only other complaint. But other than that, uh, they're not the most attractive shoes, but they are um, by by all means the most comfortable shoes I've worn uh, after 10, 12, 15, 20 miles my feet don't feel sore or uh, don't seem to get blisters they uh, uh, if I'm sore anywhere it's in my legs and that's it I highly recommend them I, and once these once I get four to five hundred miles on the, this pair of shoes I imagine I'll buy, be buying another pair Hoka does not sell the Stinson Tarmac anymore. Uh, they have something called the Stinson Light, um, which is what I'd um, recommend. They also have something called the Conquest, which is supposed to be have a little bit more padding. I went to a running store, tried out the Stinson and the Conquest, and I really felt that the Stinson actually seemed to have more cushioning. And that's something that's important to someone like me. I'm 170, 70, 175 pounds. Uh, which is a bit heavier for a runner, so I appreciate that cushioning. Thanks for watching.